You need a camera where you can change shutter speed. If you're using a phone, you can download apps. Short or quick shutter speed freezes the motion in an image, and you can only take it when there's lots of light. On the other end of the spectrum that we're looking at is a long exposure, and it lets you take photos for seconds, even minutes, and it can only be taken in a dark situation. The type of light, the brightness of the light, and the color will all influence your final image. This is two electric tea lights taped onto the end of a string and spun around, so when you spin it fast, the light is not bright. Slow movement gives you bright light. The starting of a lighter is quite unique, but always be careful if you're using flames. Love is spelt here with the flashlight. It's very distinct light. Whereas the next one is my phone screen. You can use the lights of a passing car. Sparklers give a very unique texture. If you don't have a light, you can always take a picture of a light that's stationary and move your camera instead. I took these ones in the same spot and just moved my camera in different patterns to get a different result. If your camera has a manual zoom, you can zoom in and out as you take the picture. There are some good strategies to avoid unfocused light. Contact me if you want to talk more. You can light paint in the house during the day if you have a room with no windows. This one I did use a black background. This one was on top of the freezer. I wanted more light so the light reflected off the white. Even when it looks dark out, you can still see lots of light when you take a long exposure picture. If the person light painting is in a darker area, there's a better chance you won't see the person moving. Writing is the most difficult one. This one has three different people writing three letters. They'll look the same. It doesn't matter if you're writing them backwards or not. But generally, when you write, you have to spell the words backwards and go from the opposite side so that it's the right way in the camera. Or you could just flip it afterwards in Photoshop. Add some objects in to make your light painting pictures more interesting. Here's a ceramic owl. A glass bowl. And a wine glass. You can trace the objects if you're not good at drawing. I added a second glass for cheers. And I tried to trace my brother's truck, but in the end, it just looked like a five-year-old's drawing. My favorite is drawing in things or parts to objects that already exist. I flipped the glass bowl upside down to use as the body of a spider. A whole new meaning to the phrase tree hugger. I wanted to look like I was sitting next to a cozy fire, 
but the flash was too bright, it overpowered the picture. This one I turned the flash off, and then I colored the flames in Photoshop. There were many attempts to draw a stick figure eating at our outside table. None very successful. I guess we'll just have to expect aliens for lunch. The ball of light is achieved by spinning a light in a circle as you also spin in a circle. There are lots of cool examples of this online. One of my best, most interesting photographers I've found is Dennis Smith. Light energy battles are interesting if you have lots of volunteers. Those volunteers drawing the light probably should be wearing black. You can ask your volunteers to all draw the same shape or go a little light crazy. Sometimes you'll get things that are not intended but really cool, like the arrow pointing to the little boy with the red. 